Whoa. Okay. Stripper. I'll rapid fire this and hit you in the face. Oh, I think Shiro heard me, the crinkling of the bag of jerky. Here he comes. He's like racing down here. Hi, buddy. Shiro, I ate the jerky. I ate it. Okay, um, hmm. Got six soul fragments in the deck. That's kind of a lot. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me just get them. Yeah. I'm just using my mana. <laughs> Hundred percent win rate with a Rick and Morty deck. Professor Rick didn't even draw. Him. I'm gonna keep these. I have not drawn a Arcane Fletcher since the first game with this deck. There's an Arcane Fletcher. What do you know? Let's get the Tingers out here first. There's the Borking. I may have to go feed Shiro after this game, because he is, uh, he's borking his little head off. He's being quite the little borker today. Well, we have the, the Fletcher. I understand. Yep. There's Slate. I feel like we're likely to get Shiro! Oh my god. We're likely to get like brawled. Might like cleave up in me. Shiro! Oh my god. <laughs> this is like this is pretty excessive even for Shiro. Hero. Come here. Come here, buddy. Ooh, the Leoc one. <sighs> okay, um, let's play Fletcher into Initiate. Into Initiate. Into Coin Cub. There's your brawl. There's my follow-up. Uh-huh. Okay, second brawl. You're at 21. There's a second rapid fire. I think I just Varice at this turn. We have rapid fire, rapid fire. So that's 12 damage off those. Yeah. So I have 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm two damage off lethal. Oh, that's lethal. Boom. A boom. A boom. A boom. A boom. 
<laughs> There's a deck doing what it's supposed to do. All right, that was sweet. That was really sweet. I like that. Mage, we'll just keep a sharpshooter. Yeah, my assumption was that like, at the end of your turn, swap back would mean that you swap your current hand um, with, let's just play this, turn one. I, I assumed you would swap your current hand with, you know, the hand you had, and uh, it turns out that that's not how it works. So it's a bit confusing to me, for one. All right, I'm gonna rapid fire your face. I gotta threaten as well. Boom. Okay, well. Voila. Yeah, the, so the way it works is it swaps your hand. Ooh, he's gonna coin there. That's kind of annoying. The way that it works is that it uh, it just uh, swaps your hand with five cards, and then at the end of that turn, it swaps any of those cards that remain in your hand with the original hand you had, and you keep any cards that you drew in addition to that. Okay. Getcha. Evocation says nothing about swapping your hand back, so I don't I don't see how white people are comparing it to Evocation. They're just completely different cards and have completely different text. Evocation also is very different in that it's cards from right, we're gonna start here. Uh, it's evocation is random cards, not cards you chose to put into your deck. It's a very different thing. I'll just take another bark stripper. We'll hold the infestation, given that we just picked a bark stripper. Okay. Are you gonna potion these or just go off with evocation or something? Okay. Yeah. We bark stripper into infestation. So my opponent's hand is two one-cost Sources Apprentices. Wait, what? What are you doing? Oh, that's what you're doing. Why did you play those spells first by playing their full mana cost and then decide this is what you were doing? That, that seems like a mistake. You could have had a ton more mana. I fling my pen at thee. Okay. There's another Solarian in my opponent's deck. Why are you freezing that one?
I'm just hitting you in the face. And I'm just going to hero power now. Now that, like, that was revealed to be what it is. Like, I was, I was afraid that that was going to be, like, a, you know, ice barrier or something. But given that it's not... All right. We didn't actually do the, like, you know, combo things your deck does, but that's kind of part of the idea of this. You can just play this as, like, you know, an aggressive hunter deck in some percentage of the games, and the, you know, the other ones, you end up being, a, you know, an Arcane Fletcher, Verisa spell deck. So, all right, well, Blazing Battle Mage, I'm much happier to keep my opening hand than a Pen Flinger, that's for sure. So we're just going to keep the Battle Mage. I think the Battle Mage seems like it's better than... than um, demonic companion because I like especially because I care about like having bodies to adorable infestation I don't think I don't think it, uh, demonic companion sucks I think it's fine I don't think it's great burn and bright fires of vengeance let's go it does have spellburst synergy I mean there's not that much spellburst in this deck there's only a couple things it could be decent but also, you also have, like, one-drop synergy with the Fletchers, too. So, there's a little of each going on. All right, we will play this. And then I think we're just going to play this. I don't want to expose the Sharpshooter to getting killed. Because um, I think I'm likely going to want to use its, hero, its, its ability with my hero power. Mm-hmm. Hopefully this hits one of these. It's not my Leoc. <laughs> it always hits face. What am I talking about? That it's going to hit Leoc. It's always hitting face. Well. Um, this protects this at least from the possibility of Scale Rider. Okay. That's cool by me. Let's start with tracking. I have Verisa. I don't actually currently have any burn. I can use the rapid. I think I take the rapid fire here. I can use rapid fire. Um, both I already have like Verisa here, but I can hero power this attack here, and I use the rapid fire to protect. Let's tracking again. I think this is still right, but we'll take a bark stripper. You're at 18. You can just coin Verisa and kill this with my board. Or just hit my opponent in the face to 15. I don't think I've had enough damage otherwise. Yeah, maybe I do just hit my opponent to 15. Yeah. What if I what what if my opponent just has No. I think I kill this. Because if my opponent just has Zephyrus and kills my weapon, it's a disaster if I just go face. Like, this gets a weapon in play and a 5-6 on an empty board. We also just don't have that much damage in hand, so... It also makes it much more difficult for my opponent to even remove this. Well... Eh. We still have both arcane shots, and okay, well, there's a Zephyrus. I'm glad that I didn't, you know, leave myself just dead to Zephyrus. I could have taken six damage to do two more damage to the opponent, yes. <laughs> Blizzard? What is that? Well, let's draw some arcane shots. Or that. Oops, got attack first. Boom. 
Alright. Got him. Clearly, Spell Professor Slate Varisa Hunter is superior to Highlander Hunter. Highlander Hunter just not a high enough Q IQ to understand. <laughs>